I love all of that. I I really would love that in the mainline games. Like all of that in the mainline games, please. That's amazing. Here you are, a free Pokemon court. You've completed your trial. Hell yeah. I'm the best around. No one's gonna ever keep me down. At least I hope not. You won't let me. Told me enough of the beginning of the game, chat. <laughs> Rehydrate me. Well, I'm not proud of that clip. Thank you, Ayla. And thank you for the clips as well, Lola and Tash. Thank you. So many clips of Legends Arceus tonight. I'm going to be inundated with clips to turn into into all my possible footage for all the phone places. It's going to be great. You're taking your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. Yeah. Pho photograph? <laughs> Let's <she. laughs> No, it's fine. Let's go. I've got to admit, it's true, you've got real talent for this. Now then, we best report to Captain Silene. Time to head back to Jubilife Village, eh? <laughs> Think so. Coloshade says might as well set up the goal for another one of these streams now. We'll get it filled in no time. So, so true. I might have to challenge you guys and up it. So that you're going to have to use a lot of those channel points. But we'll see. Because <laughs> I'm enjoying this. I would actually not mind doing a stream a month of this. Or stream whenever we can of for channel point redeems. It's a shame I've had to retract my streaming hours to only two days a week. If I if I did three days a week as normal, this would definitely be a hard set game in the schedule. Absolutely. But I've, I'm only doing two a week for the time being just for my sanity and my mental health. Which I hope you guys understand. I, I didn't... And it's also because sometimes you can put way too much into streaming. When, as a content creator, spending more time on creating video content and clips for like mobile apps or videos for youtube which this vod will be for youtube by the way i'm totally editing this for youtube and turning it into episodes for you guys to enjoy i will totally do that but i'd rather do that than worry about streaming every every day consistently and all that jazz and plus i really love editing videos I'd, I'd love to give this a shot and cut it all down and give you guys some give you guys a chance to look back at it and new people to watch it especially since this is my first ever time going through the game and I, how else do i need to explain it you passed your trial nice one i must admit you impressed me you get a high hurdle to jump i love i i'm still not in the outfit yet i've just been given the belt and bag i love it the official uniform of the survey corps I, I love it. I love the fact you have to earn the outfit. And then you don't change into your... See, that's an element of Scarlet and Violet I found weird. Yes, I know you went over to the region. Thank you for the stretch, by the way, Lola. I know you went to the region in Scarlet and Violet, right? The Paldea region. To join the school in Mesagoza. And that's the reason why you already start in a school uniform, right? But I don't know about you. How cool would it have been... If you started the game as a, in casual attire and then when you actually entered the school for the first time and went to your dorm room for the first time, that's where you got your uniform and then the outfit begins. Right? Imagine that for a moment. How cool would it have been and how immersive would it, it, would it have been if you didn't get your school uniform until do you actually what I went do. to school? Down. Look. Hello there. Literally. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> just putting it out there, it would have been a much better idea. I know it's all in my opinion, but I'm, just, I'm, I'm shooting game design ideas. It's what I do. I studied game design. I'm making my own bloody game. I think I can warrant talking about things like this. <laughs> I have a dream, damn it! <laughs> okay, do you actually take your shoes off? Did I actually? Is that legit? Did I? Okay, I want to. I want to check this quickly because Greg, Greg filled me in on the deeds. I'm curious. Oh, that's your box. Oh, you need to actually put on the uniform now. Cool. Satchel. Oh, the potions look cool. 
That's dope. Even old school potions. I love it. Do I have to go here? Is this the dresser? Nice. Oh, okay. Here we are. Brilliant. Of course, the mirror. Here we go. Want to help me with my game idea? <laughs> I don't know. I'm currently developing Ring Warriors. That's taken a lot of my time outside of that. The feet! <laughs> Toes! <laughs> oh... <laughs> What am I? <laughs> oh no. Head, shoulders, and feet. Head, shoulders, and feet. Oh, that's cool. Can I just keep the sandals? I feel like the sandals are pretty legit. Come on, these sandals are cool. Look at my feet, damn it. Look at my actual feet. The toe fetishists are going wild. Yep, there you go. Everyone's talking feet. Sorry, guys. Feet, foot fetish denied. Look at my sandals. Oh, you can have contacts. Ooh. Oh, I like that. You know what? Having having purple contacts. So that we've got a little bit of Heather with the blonde woman and a little bit of me with the purple eyes. I can dig that. I like it. <laughs> Ultramarine Xenos. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I love it. Purge for heretics. Exterminatus. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not doing the whole exterminatus again, are we? I didn't notice it again. Didn't notice what? I looked at the feet. I looked at the feet. I saw a toe. Okay, <laughs> I acknowledged foot. <laughs> do you want me to? Do you want me to get down on my hands and knees and just be like, <sighs> oh, toesies? No, <laughs> I saw foot. <laughs> you may wear this as well. Is it a headband? Hats. It's a. It's a. It's a bag. No, it's not. Well, it's cool though. I like it. Clip. Go up on the wooden on the wooden platform. Okay. Mental note. Go back to the house when I get a chance. Okay. Well remind me when we get the chance to run back to the house. And I'll check that out. I may have done. I may have done Corky in fairness. I may have done. This is cool. I like this. Oh, hello, big boss. Okay, Giovanni. Giovanni's long-lost ancestor. Let's go. I have been waiting for you, Dono. Why, why am I fully expecting him to be voiced like one of the One Piece characters? I am Kamado-san, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Hmm, so you are a woman. I am. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Hmm. I would say more like Yamamoto from Bleach. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. I can dig that. I can totally see that. Let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Let's charge at him. Go. Yeet. Ah. <laughs> You've got vigor, I'll give you that. You need to work on your sumo technique, but I do see some potential. Nice. Just beat Pokemon Scarlet. Well done, Zed. Welcome in. Howdy hi. Congratulations. Can we get some happy sheep in chat for Zed for completing Scarlet? Some would be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious Among Us might see you. Among Us! <laughs> dun 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 dun. <laughs> Coloshade says if this guy is a One Piece villain, then what's his laugh? Something along the lines of what? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> that wasn't a One Piece laugh. That was just you being a monkey. Oh, I'm not proud of that clip. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the sheep turns into the mon the monkey. <laughs> God's sake, sheepy, why? <laughs> 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 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is ma streaming is magic. <laughs> streaming is magic. What can I say? Keep your wits about you as it work. Oh, here we go. Yeah! Complete this. Nice. This is already really fun. And it's, it's not just fun with the game, it's fun with you guys as well. My first ever time and my first ever experience of Legends Arceus has so far been pretty good. You begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. You have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps and you may move up the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokedex oh, will also, of course, bring you closer towards the goal of yours. To seek out every last Pokemon. Yeah, you'll need this. Ah, recipe for... Ah, crafting! Perfect. 3,000 3, Pokebucks as well, as you have to buy the necessary materials. Fair play. I like it. Dig it. You're an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what she needs to know. Yes, ma'am, Captain. Get ready for a lesson in crafting. Crafting means making items from scratch. You don't say, Ray. You don't say. Whenever you need in your survey work, you'll mostly make yourself. Some things you can buy at the general store, but it's good to try and be self-sufficient. This way, we can even catch Pokemon with Pokeballs we've crafted ourselves. Nice. This is to be prattle on. Let's go to the craft work so you can try it yourself. Oh, I do like a little bit of craft work. I do. I do like a little bit of craft work. If you know what I actually mean by craft work, but I'm talking about the band <laughs> called craft work. Great tunes. Real great tunes. Okay. Well done earning a place in our team. And my name is Anfi. I'm the local Clovia. Mum. Energy. Right here. I like it. I, I dig, not because it's purple. I'm kind of biased because it's purple, okay? But it, it's pretty dope. Sweet mama energy right here. Do have they fit. A change of clothes already? Cool. Everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. Nice. Every day I'm shuffling. Nice. Thank you. It's dope. Remember when you came up with a theory of a protagonist being the ancestor of the future members of Team Galaxy? If a protagonist was transported back in time, wouldn't there be a paradox somewhere that might screw up the timelines? No. Because from what I understand, this isn't the protagonist of Gen 4. <laughs> Coloshade says this is some wibbly wobbly timeline bollocks right here. So, from what I'm getting from the energies of this, right, you're not playing as a protagonist that's supposed to be the protagonist from one of the main generations of the games, right? You're just playing a person from the actual Pokemon world of the modern day that we know that has just been chosen by Arceus to be is isekai'd. Like, it just happened. Out of rent, it could have happened to anyone. And I like that. I like the idea that it could have happened to anyone. Because it's the idea that anyone that has some basic knowledge of Pokemon could have just been plucked from their timeline and taken here. I don't think, and because Arceus knows elements of time and space because of um, Dialga and Palkia, I would fully expect Al Arceus to understand that if he screwed up the timeline, that's bad, that's no bueno. I, I fully expect that to be the case. Ooh, ap apricorns are back, sweet. I dig it. Yeah, screw it, we'll make 20. Make a crap load of balls, let's go. Let's make some balls, catch some boys. Hell yeah, that's the plan. Oh, now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe it's your first time stepping up to the workbench, my girl. My G. You recall, of course, for Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. For Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of our power to catch them. All so that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded on a Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. It, it's for book. Oh, you did... Okay, I'm upset. I'm I'm ups I'm a little bit upset by that. I've been hyped up for the fact that this is the oldest documented version of the Pokedex we have ever experienced in a video game. I would have loved it if he actually handed you a book 
that you can physically have in your hands. And there's a little cutscene of you going, ah, like in, in amazement. And then it comes up with Pokedex, right? That, that little bit would have been amazing. Because you never have anything like that with a Pokedex in the games. You, you never have that. Like, you kind of had it with a Rotom Dex, but having something as magical as that, something as simple as that, in a game like this where it immerses you too much, that little bit more, you're expecting too much. No, I want that. This is my do point. what I do. Down. Look. Hello there. The thing is, you can tell Game Freak have gone above and beyond to create a unique new idea. I want them to go all the way. It's still a triple-A title, hell yeah. I want this triple-A title to be game of the year contender. And I know why it's not. But it could have been. Look at that. If you were actually handed that as a 3D model, that'd be cool. I dig it. I really would. I have this volume just for you. I hope it adds up. I hope it, la, 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 la. Can't say it. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon they are in the grand region. Hell yeah. Take plenty of research tasks to help the professor compete for Pokedex. Got to get going on, on to myself too. Okay, cool. What games with fine details you need indie titles? Not necessarily any any game can have fine details. Any game can have fine details. Why do you think Elden Ring got Game of the Year last year? It's not just for graphics. It's not just for storytelling. It's not just for world, the performance and everything. It's the fact that it actually took all those fine details that the developers learned from all the way back in Demon Souls, all the way up to now. And they're gorgeous. Those little tiny tidbits just literally was the difference between Elden Ring and God of War Ragnarok. And that's the thing. Ragnarok didn't, didn't slump on him either. Ragnarok had some beautiful moments with fine details in, but Elden Ring was jam-packed of them. Did you need all those urns in the graveyard? No, you didn't. But the fact that they did, and you could destroy every one of them, peachy. Love it. Beauregard the guard. Can I regard Beauregard the guard? Rehydrate me. Because I'd like to. People who have something to ask will have a request icon displayed above them. If you fill their request, they may give you a nice reward. Ooh. Yes, please. Hey, Beauregard. The guard. Hey, so uh, there's this Pokemon called Whirlpool. Have you heard of it? Uh, yeah, I have. Well, you see, uh, I was having a chat with Professor Leventon, and you told me that uh, every Pokemon gains nice. a certain amount of experience uh, through battling and the like. It will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called EVOLUTION! Ah, there you go. Evolvuda. So I decided I'd want to raise a whirlpool myself and have it evolve. You're part of a survey corps, aren't you? If you catch a whirlpool, could you let me have it? I'll be rewarding it for you. I promise. Just get me a whirlpool if you can. Hey, Corky. Already a great character because all he wants is a bug. Am I right? <laughs> Of course I'm right. He's a bug boy. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh wow, oh, look at all the request peoples. Sweet. What do you do? Up, du -du, and down. Du -du -du, up, du -du, and down. Du -du -du, up, du -du, and down. Du -du -du, up, du -du, and down. Du -du -du. I'm sorry, I got distracted. Uh, map button. There you go. And it does show them all on the map as well. Awesome. So we've got a new oh, request here, quick. here, and down there. Cool. We'll get the requests in first. Definitely. Hello. Marley, hello. You have a newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you heading outside the village? Of course you are. The survey corps must have must have to get out and about to compile that Pokedex. But they're working on, right? Well, on your way, can't you do me a favor? Find out all about Starly. Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures, but when I see Starly, I simply feel whole. Not that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Please let me see Starly's entry in the Pokedex from the moment you've completed it. Adorable Starly. Awesome. Dope. I can dig it. Let's have a look then. What, what do we need to do to complete Starly's entry? Curious. Number caught, okay. 
Number you've caught without being spotted. Okay, cool. Number defeated. Number of different forms you've obtained. Oh, okay. And number you've evolved. Dope. Okay. The up and down song. Thank you, thank you, Tash. And thank you for the clips, guys. You went raving. Can the arc phone like be in history books and over all mess with human evolution? Technically? Yet again, you can see it this way, right? The the arc phone would kind of be the it, it would be like the sports almanac in Back to the Future. The sports almanac is the thing that harbors information to allow Biff to change his future and become rich as hell, right? What if the arc phone being created in the past allows the Pokemon technology to develop in such a way so that in modern day we have the modern day Pokemon centers, the modern day Pokemon marts, the modern day healing technology, modern day communication technology, modern day box technology. What if all of that, all of that, was because of the arc phone existing in this space. Think about it. Think about it. Yeah, we're the only person with that phone, and you got to think there's got to be at least one person around you at some point in the timeline that you're here that looks at your arc phone and thinks, hmm, and starts just making blueprints, starts drawing it, so that in the future when they're when their descendants start looking at the pictures for their drawing of the arc phone, they get inspired to then create the technology. It's it, it creates that effect to guarantee that it's definitely going to exist. It's like the not the Schrodinger's cat. Is is it is it the Schrodinger's cat theory where because it 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 perpetually exists. It's like the constant cycle of existence. It has to exist at the beginning loop round to the past and inspire the right people to get back to this point to then keep that loop going in a consistent cycle. I don't think that's Schrodinger's cat because Schrodinger's cat is the idea of there's a cat in the box but you can never look directly into the box if that's if that's correct. I, I don't know. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Maybe it's people look into the future and see people do stupid shit with phones. Yep, the TikTok generation. <laughs> but we're taking over. Ah! Press the RB button. I'm burying. Okay. Berries. Very good. Renegade. Hell yeah. Right. I'm going on an adventure. Alright, so with that in mind, let's actually do it, shall we? We're actually going to play the game. Let's go. Oh, I like that as a loading screen. That's cool. That's a nice artsy loading screen. I can deal with it. No. Oh. oh, excuse me. The cat thing reminds me, had you chance for game in sound mind? And is that, is that an actual game rave? I've never heard of it, sadly. You could do the request for the guy who asked about Shinx already. Well... I'll I'll be back there later, Om. I'm already I'm already on an adventure, damn it. I'm doing a thing. We search tasks the tasks you need to carry out to complete the Pokedex. Each Pokemon species has a different number of variety of research tasks. Press down the button or press the down button to open your Pokedex, then check what kind of research tasks are available for the Pokemon you've registered. When you've focused on a wild Pokemon in the field using the ZL button, you can also instantly check the research task for that species by pressing the down button and to open your Pokedex right to that page. Some Pokemon have some unusual research tasks. Be sure to check them out. Okay. I have been told that trying to 100% the Pokedex is a bit of a grind fest. But that's late game when you really need to... when you're trying to 100% the Pokedex. Now there's one more nugget of wisdom I've got to share, woman. Wild Pokemon may attack you at any time. When they do, dodge like your life depends on it. Dodge. <laughs> dodge! <laughs> Why won't you dodge? <laughs> I think I suggested it before, but I'm not here all that often. I don't think so. If it was, it was a good long while ago, Rave. It's been a while. Here I go. You can take up a hundred hours? Jesus. 
That's mad. See, that's how you dodge. A timely dodge would keep you from getting hurt by the fierce attacks of wild Pokemon. That's key if you'd rather not end up blacked out in some field like I did. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Sorry, Ray. When those shigs got me with Thundershock, it might have been done for the security corps. Hadn't come and saved me. Ah. But hey, no need to worry. You've got me here to give you tips. I'll teach you plenty. Cool. I'm game. Action horror game, not that long, but great story and saying. Cool. Okay. Oh, right, cool. You you let me come by and do my thing. Cool. Can I look at? Oh, that's my that's my woman stats. <laughs> I like that. Survey tips. What's the button I'm looking for? Is it is it my Rotom phone? Yes, there it is. Here we go. Just to remind myself. So we need to catch a worm pole. So Marley the computer po Pokedex entry of a Starly. Catch a Shinx. Oh yeah, we've already done that. You are right on. Thank you. And a big Breezel. Okay. Did I see? Did I see the EXP candies are here? They even added the candies. Oh my! They really thought about it. Good stuff. Get ready for some survey core wisdom. Focus on the Pokemon for ZL button. The we just did this, Ray. I just had a text-based tutorial teach me this. See what your research tasks for Bidoof include one how many you've caught? That's right. Catching just one won't do it. You've got to get two, then four, then more and more. <laughs> okay. Coloshade says, I think what you was talking about earlier on was the grandfather paradox. The grandfather paradox is an example of a problem arising from the effect of time travel on causality. That's the it, idea yeah. that a cause must precede its effect. The paradox suggests that a cause is eliminated by its own effect, thus preventing its own cause and essentially becoming reverse causation. That's it. That's exactly it, Kalo. It's the idea that, like, if I went to the past, like, if I had modern day knowledge, and I went to the past, and I gave, like, let's say, Steve Jobs the idea to make the iPhone, that means... But when it comes to a point in time where Steve Jobs makes the iPhone, everything from that point up until the point where I travel back to the past to inform Steve Jobs about making the iPhone has to consistently go, or else the iPhone would not exist. That's the idea. So yeah, I'm thinking that's the exact same idea here. In my opinion, with like modern day Pokemon technology, where... You exist in an era where modern day pe technology exists. You go back in time with an Arc phone that was messed about with Arceus. And because the technology is there, it eventually inspires the right people to make the right technology. But all of that needs to progress until that point in time where you go back. And that has to be a constant cycle for everyone to still get what they have. I, I dig it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Give it a try now if you want. Uh, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Okay, Doofenshmirtz. I'm looking at you. What's up, Doofy? Hey. Hey, what? What you doing? Don't do for me, Doofenshmirtz. Don't you dare, Doof. Okay, so if I do that... Oh, that's, oh, yeah, that is really cool. That's really quick. So it's number core. Number of heavy specimens. Okay, so we want we want the fat. <laughs> we want the fat ones. Number defeated and number of different forms. Okay. And number you've evolved. Okay. Z21122583 says touch the Badoof. Touch the Doof. Should I touch the Doof? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna I'm coming for you. Coming for you. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> you see, that? he was gonna one shot me. Oh god, this is a true final boss. <laughs> Just treat treat Badoof as if it's an Elden Ring boss fight. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> like reading inputs. Oh, that's so funny. No, I can I can already tell. I'll have so much fun with this. Nice one. Nice one. I want to capture all of them. Did I just? Did woman just? Coloshade says I demand to see the boys. Did wait? Did woman just go like yeah? Like actually cry out? Did women have voice acting? Like, did they actually add in cries? Game Freak, you've... You, you're proving it. It's a very small amount of voice acting, but and it's basic level, but you know what? This is huge! This is freaking huge! Well, that, well, that clip. <laughs> this is huge! <laughs> Actual voice acting! Legend of Zelda levels of voice acting where you just get yeah, and I'm happy with that. It's a step forward, but I'm happy for. Let's go. I'm 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 changing some names by the way, people. Quee Quee. Okay, we won't do a full series of name that Pokemon because then we'll be here for ages. But we'll definitely name that Cinderquill. I think Cinder's needs to have a nickname. I I I would feel more happy if our Cinder boy had a nickname. So can we can we get some names for Cinderquill, please? We get some funky names for Cinderquill. <gasps> yeah, it's it's school bunny. Here we go. <laughs> it begins. You gotta gotta carry the memes. Gotta carry the memes. <clears throat> okay, we don't need all the doofenshmirts. So um, oh, I can grab. Oh, you just press Y to grab. Oh, that's cool. Oh, sorry, I'm just. I'm just putting you in here. Okay, cool. Just finishing, just finished taking an online survey for the local police. Second time I got randomly selected to take one. How fun. Nice. Does sound fun. I can't put them away yet. Okay. How to make it Rabu and Cinderace as we tweet evolves. Oh my god, I bet you any money we should. We actually should. Summon the boys!